Alvorlig, men også veldig interessant. For før tiden så var det sånn at håndproteser, de bestod av en, en arm, og så var det gjerne en sånn sele på ryggen som gjorde at man kunne åpne og lukke for å gjøre de nødvendige ting. Men nu har teknologien kommet veldig mye, mye lenger, og i dag så er vi så heldige at vi skal få besøk av en man som har den mest avanserte robotonen som finnes i universet. Og han er doktor i sosialpsykologi fra Universitetet i Zürich. Min damer her tar godt imot Bertolt Meier! Wow. So nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Ooh, this is You're awkward. from Germany, right? Yes. But we can do it in English? Yes. It's okay with you? Yes, of course. Please not in Norwegian. in England macht mach the interview. Sprache. Sprache. Schön, ich, ich freue mich. Vielen Dank. Oh, oh okay. Whoop. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, welcome so much. And uh, obviously we're going to talk about your hand. Yes. And I don't know how to approach it. Can I say, wow, that's a really amazing looking hand? That, yeah, you can. That's, that's okay. What, yeah, that's what I thought when I saw it for the first time. Yeah, yeah because uh, j just to get the facts straight, you, you're born without uh, exactly. a complete arm. Yeah, I always wish there was a bit of a more of an exciting story to tell about it. Um, but unfortunately, there isn't. I was just born without it, yeah. which I think makes it less difficult because there's never a, a loss or a trauma, you know, just, yeah. so you don't know it any other way. No, true. But I was a bit surprised when I, I, I first met you that it wasn't like skin colored or textured. Well, it comes with the option of a skin colored glove. Uh, but I deliberately choose not to wear that and wear this semi-transparent one instead because the skin-colored glove sends the message to your social environment that you're, trying, that you're trying to hide something. And you're doing a very poor job at it because everybody notices after a few minutes of, of interaction. And then that can get really, really awkward. Whereas this, it just doesn't hide what it is. It's, you know, everybody can see what it is and, and, that's, and that's fine with me. I don't have to hide it. No. And I just think it looks amazing. Uh, and what can it do? It, it, you, now you're controlling it just by using like... Muscle signals. There's two electrodes sitting on the surface of the skin that pick up the EMG signal, right. i.e. an electrical signal, that would be used to flex the wrist if I had one. So this, so this, is this it's this muscle, right? This it's this muscle. Point. And you learn to flex this muscle to produce a signal and then that controls the hand. Th that's not special in itself. That has been around for, f for a long time for controlling electric processes. What's so special about this one is that um, each finger is driven by its own motor and each finger has a pressure sensor built in. So when you try to hold an object, um, maybe, I don't know if you see this, but so this finger touches the phone first and then senses the touch of the phone, stops moving, whereas this finger continues to move until it touches the phone. Wow. And in this way, you get this very natural grip around the phone, like, like you would probably hold it. Yeah. And, uh, and, that's, uh, and that's the great thing about it. And it's really firm, it doesn't fall off, as you can see. And oh yeah, you can... Oh, oh, oh look at that see. guy, huh? <laughs> 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 which, which I call the party trick. It's not really useful, but it's cool to show off. Is it not useful for anything? I, mean I uh, you know, I've thought of several things, like throwing, mm. screwing in a light bulb without letting yeah. go. But then the position is so awkward that uh, you so have you, to kind of turn like again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's yeah, uh, um, yeah. I think when I look at it, I just wonder how much is this now affecting your daily life? Is it? Oh, to the, can you like can you tie shoelaces? Can oh yeah, you, sure. You want to see? Can you? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. I mean, what's the prosthesis for other than, than, than for helping you with everyday lie things, right? I mean, if it wasn't good for tying shoelaces, it wouldn't be a very useful device, would it be? So, yeah, I can tie my shoelaces. Suck. Oops. Oh, it's my nervousness. My hands are shaking. I've never did this in front of a live audience. There you go. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. I mean, it's what it's supposed to do. Yeah, but... That but how, how many how many sensors? I mean, how many input signals can you send? Just two. Your? Just so two. Just it's really two. simple. So yeah. And, and, uh, so it's just this and this, basically. Yeah, exactly. But and but then you you would have the need of controlling it in another way to sort of yeah. There is checking now. Checking messages now. No, there is an app for that. <laughs> um, so the newest version has uh, an iPhone app which connects to the hand via Bluetooth and it gives you an overview of the 24 different grip patterns. And so for example, there's so index... this can actually control your hand? Yeah, you can change grip patterns with it. So if you push the button here, something moves down there. 
Right? And that's so, your phone doing this right now. Yeah, you want to try? Jesus, that's Wow. Fair. Okay, let me just show. Uh, this one is called some part continuous. No, I want the index point. Yeah. Do just that. the index finger yeah. front. There you go. Wow. But isn't that also. That's just extremely amazing. Uh, but doesn't this allow me to like jailbreak an iPhone and, and uh, hack your arm? Jailbreak you? Well, you know. So the iPhone is now connected to my hand via Bluetooth. Yeah. But of course, my iPhone is connected to the internet. Yeah. So if somebody hacked my iPhone, theoretically, they could hack my hand. And then they could do like this without you wanting to do it. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, theoretically. Theoretically. They could. Yeah. They could. OK. <laughs> Good thing it's only in the theory. OK. You have to, can you push it again yeah, so it goes oh, sorry. Away. What do I push? <laughs> the custom gesture, I okay. think it's called. Yes, you thank you. Sorry. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's really. But OK. So this is. But it also, this is very uh, fantastic and amazing, and I'm, I'm so glad this must help uh, people a lot in the future. But it also puts in some kind of question to put it in a, a broader context. Yes. Uh, will this make people want to replace their original limbs with, the, say, a what, how do you say it? Prosthesis? 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 Yeah. yeah. Prosthesis. It's, no, 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 it's a prosthetist. Prosthetist. Yeah, a oh, prosthetist builds prosthesis. Okay. Pro prosthesis. Pros prosthesis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yep, you got it. Mm. But uh, you get the question. I get the question. Well, at the moment, no prosthesis uh, is good enough to be better than a healthy, normal human limb. So no prosthesis can restore functionality up to 100% yet. But what if it could? You know, would you chop off a healthy limb to replace it with an artificial one? Not as of now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, it, Maybe it could. No, but in, in a future like that, would you? Because it's, it, it is kind of foreseeable. We already have plastic surgery where people change their body in an aesthetic way? And what if we had technology to not only change our body in an aesthetic way, but also in a functional way? Would people do that? And I mean, that is, I, I, don't, I don't know, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if we should allow that, if there should be certain rules in place, but I think it's an important question to ask before this technology comes around, because business people and engineers they don't think about those ethical implications, and therefore I think it's important to have a wider conversation about it. You know, the stupid show we have is only an hour, and I want to talk about this for several years, but we have to uh, move along. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please give a big round of applause for Bertolt Mayer! Thank you.